All right, this is graphing nonlinear inequalities, part one. So we're going to keep these lessons nice and short for you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to graph, so I'm just going to put it on the side here. I'm going to graph y equals, uh, oh, sorry, messed up on that. Let's get rid of that equals. Okay, not equals, but an in inequality, y is less than x minus 2 squared plus 1. So we're going to try and graph what is not a linear inequality. This is a quadratic. We know it's going to be a, some sort of a parabola graph. And so what I do know is I'm going to have to graph this parabola. And in order to do a decent job of that, I better figure out where the vertex is. So that's when x is 2. And when x is 2, this turns to 0. If I plug it in, and I get plus 1. So there we go. That's where the vertex is. And I think that's far enough away from the y-axis that a y-intercept is probably the uh, next easiest point to give ourselves a pretty decent graph. So I'm going to do that. If x is 0, if I put that in, I got 0 minus 2. So 0 minus 2, all squared and then plus 1. So that would be 4 plus 1. So it looks like 5. Okay, so I've got a vertex, and I got this point here. I think that's enough to get a pretty good graph. So let's just throw the grid up there, and um, let's uh, start by locating the vertex. It's 2 to the right, and up 1. So there's the vertex of our parabola. And then I see the y-intercept is at 0, and then up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's up there. And I'm just going to skip across because it is a symmetrical graph. So there we have uh, the basic shape. Now I'm going to graph the parabola. But notice over here there's no little equality line. And what that tells me is I want this graph to be dotted. Okay, because the points that are on the graph itself don't actually make the inequality work. It's only the points that are either inside or outside. So which ones are they? Because really, you split the plane now into two zones. There's the zone inside the parabola, or if you think of it as above the parabola, and then there's the zone on the outside or below. Well, there are two little tricks here. So I'm just going to uh, give myself a little bit of room here. There's a couple little tricks. Uh, personally, I like the method where I look at this, and it says the y's that I want to shade should be less than the graph. So I think of this as reading and saying that's the graph, in this case a parabola, and I would like to be less than that. So right there I know, oh, less than, that's below. So I know I'm shading everything that's on the outside, or think of it as below. Um, so this, all of this is part of my solution. Okay? Anything that's, that's not contained in the middle here. Now suppose you weren't quite sure about that. There is one other method you can use. I can grab a test point, plug it in, and just see, does it make this inequality true? And a really nice test point here would be, what about 0, 0? Why don't we plug that in? So we've got 0, and then question mark, is that less than 0 minus 2 squared plus 1? So I want to see if this comes out as true. 0 is less than, now this would be negative 2 squared, so 4 plus 1. I think you can see pretty clearly that 0 is less than 5. This does work, and if it's true for 0, 0, then we did shade the correct side of this quadratic. And that's my first example. That's where I'm going to stop and um, come back with a little bit of a different example.